Hello guys, welcome to another episode of I'm a Jet, and this week we are doing the Bar Dog Pinot Noir. I happened to see this and I read the backing of the label and it spoke really highly of their who they are as people when they make their wines and they're into rescues, rescuing dogs and stuff. If you read the label here, it does give a little backstory. My best friend was named Bar Dog, he was a companion partner and what always by my side. And for every I mean they make it so it doesn't say for every purchase made they donate to a charity but annually this company that makes this wine donates to a local rescue charity for dogs and i love that whole bit about it so i figured let's give it a shot it can't be a bad wine it's pinot noir it's got to be good and i also have a new tool we're using and this is from sent for my friend elizabeth it is a special wine opener so we're going to be using that to open our lovely red wine tonight so uh, i'm not quite sure how this particularly works Ooh. but we will figure it out together guys so let me get this going uh, i did a little bit of playing around and I think you stick it so I believe it goes you sit it like this and then sit it so we're gonna sit yeah so you sit this so that the circular part is around the neck of the bottle and then you're pushing this into the wine and then you literally just pull this up and out pops your cork. It is just the most fabulous contraption I have ever seen. And I am so excited to have this. Only thing is getting the cork off the screw is a little bit more challenging than the other method I was using prior to this, but I do love it. Yeah, it just it screws it up. And then we stick it into our piggy bank for our corks, like so. All right, and then we'll stick in our wine aerator. And again, guys, this is a wine aerator from Pamper Chef. If you guys want to purchase this lovely wine aerator, I could give you my link to my store because I do sell Pamper Chef alongside other jobs I have. So that is another fact about me you probably didn't know. So if you want um, anything Pamper Chef related, um, I'm your girl. So hit me up in the comments if you want to have any questions about Pamper Chef. Um, all right, let's get right to this wine. Now, I did look at the um, look up online about this wine, and it had some really wonderful flavor notes of strawberries, cherries, some vanilla, and guys, I'm all about strawberry and I'm all about vanilla. I'm not really a fan of cherry, but you know what? Who cares? As long as there's mo mostly strawberry and vanilla flavorings in this, I'm good to go. If it's a strong cherry flavor, not my favorite, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Oh, and the shirt. You're wondering why I'm wearing Christmas shirt. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. I don't, I, I love Thanksgiving. However, the week of Thanksgiving to me screams it's almost Christmas. Therefore, my Christmas sweaters come out in full showcase. So that's why you're getting me a Christmas sweater today on this channel and this video. And you'll see I have my Christmas tree and my lights on display. You'll be seeing those throughout the entire month of December and the rest of November in my videos. All right, let's get to the wine, guys, before it gets really pitch black out here. I don't want to have to, I may have to go edit this video and add some lighting in here, but for now, here we are. All right. Ooh, that smells fruity. Oh, I'm already loving the smell of this wine, so I'm all, I'm all for it. Let's give it a shot. Okay, all right. That is a strong Pinot Noir. It goes down really nice. I get a lot of, what do I get a lot of? I have to take a second sip, guys. I don't even know what I'm tasting. Yeah, it's fruity. There's fruits in here. I do taste a little bit of vanilla. Not much, but a subtle hint of vanilla. Uh, I get cherry ish this cherry in there for sure it's not a strong amount of cherry but it's there so i can i can happily drink this wine with the cherry flavors in there i don't really taste too much strawberry I mean, maybe it's, i don't know i mean i'm just tasting other types of fruits i can't put my tongue on what the fruit is but there's a fruit in there maybe it's black currant or blackberry but there's definitely berries in this wine uh, I mean, strawberry, it had a subtle taste of strawberry for like a second. I'm like, ooh, strawberry, is it? But nonetheless, guys, 
This is a fantastic wine, and I'm so glad I picked this up. I mean, I love Pinot Noir anyway, and I was like, it's the week of Thanksgiving, and Pinot Noir goes with Thanksgiving food. Yeah, so if you're looking for a red wine for Thanksgiving, I highly suggest a Pinot Noir. Those are my go-to wines for Thanksgiving is Pinot Noir. If you're looking for a red Pinot Noir, Thanksgiving. Uh, Cabernets, oh, they're okay, but if you want to really have a red, I would say go Pinot Noir route, okay? That's just my go-to for Thanksgiving, and my family agrees. They have they have Pinot Noir with everything. I know typically red wines are with red meats and white wines or with white meats and whatnot, but some families just love red wine, and they need a suggestion for Thanksgiving, and this is it, Pinot Noir. Any Pinot Noir you have on hand would, go, would pair well with a Thanksgiving turkey dinner. All right, there I said it, a red wine that goes with white meat, which is turkey. So um, I, you could have a Cabernet, it's fine. It just might not be as great of a flavor pairing as some. Um, Pinot Grigio would be a perfect pairing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have that too, by the way. So I'm pairing my Thanksgiving meal with a Pinot Noir and a Pinot Grigio. And then maybe later on, if we have dessert, maybe I'll have a dessert wine, I don't know. But for now, we have two wines going. And that's the Pinot Grigio, which is, oh, what one did I get? I think I might've gotten barefoot, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything what I bought, but I bought a, I bought the Pinot Noir Noble Vines we tried a few weeks ago. That one's on my Thanksgiving list. And then my Pinot Grigio, which I haven't really, I don't remember the name. It's a brand we've had before, I'm sure. I think it was Barefoot I bought. I'll have to look, anyway, guys. It's getting a little bit dark outside, so I don't wanna keep this camera rolling too much longer, but that is my lovely review of this wine. It's, it's a very strong, it's a strong, it's a strong Pinot Noir, but it's very good. It goes down really nicely and smoothly, to, in my opinion. I would definitely continue drinking this, and I will continue drinking this tonight. I will have the rest of this glass, um, maybe a little bit more. Um, I'll have some cheddar cheese with it. I mean, I love cheddar, so cheddar's a go-to cheese for me with wine. If you don't know what to pair with your, che with your, with your wine, cheddar it is. That's the way I see it. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed your wine-tastic Wednesday, and hope your week is fantastic. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys if you live in the U.S. If you don't live in the in the U.S. and don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then happy Thursday to you and whatever you said, so decide to do on that Thursday. And I will see you guys next week with another wine-tastic video. And if you guys have any questions, suggestions, or whatever, comment below. Do hit subscribe to see my videos posting. And hit the bell for notifications when I post a video. And with that said, I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.